Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will demonstrate how to load a polymer pellet sample for melt rheology measurements on an Ares G2. The melt preparation kit comes with items that will aid in preparation and cleaning of a polymer melt sample. In order to load polymer pellets, the metal clip, ring, and roll of thin stainless steel shim material will be used. Install the upper and lower platinum resistance thermometers, or PRTs, followed by the geometries. 25 mm upper and lower plates will be used for this example. Verify the FCO height with the melt ring drop to the bottom of the lower geometry. If it closes without contacting the ring, then it's ready to go without further adjustments. Remove the ring. Close the FCO and heat to the desired temperature using the appropriate purge gas. Here we will be using gas selection, which will be plumbed with house nitrogen. For best results, allow adequate time for geometry thermal equilibration before zeroing the gap. While the furnace is heating, cut the appropriate length of metal shim to complete a full circle within the metal melt ring. When the gap is zeroed at temperature, open the furnace and mount the clip to the lower geometry. Place the ring with the metal shim inserted over the lower geometry. Again, close the furnace for a couple minutes to allow the ring to heat up. Now that everything in the FCO is at temperature, the next sequence of events should take place as fast as possible. Take a few grams of polymer pellets, quickly open the furnace, pour the pellets inside the ring, Lower the geometry to just within contact of the sample and close the furnace. As the material softens, continue to lower the gap until complete contact is obtained. Remember to first lock the motor. Then open the furnace and quickly remove the clip. The ring will fall and with a pair of tweezers, remove the steel shim. Close the furnace and set the trim gap. Monitor the axial force. Once at trim gap, it is important to allow the axial force to relax fully prior to trimming. For this low density polyethylene sample, the axial force will easily relax below 10 grams within a couple of minutes. For higher molecular weight or entangled polymers, the axial force may take a long time to relax. In these cases, for best reproducibility, the two options are to either wait an extended time for full relaxation, or just wait until the axial force relaxes to the same arbitrary selected value. Now open the furnace and trim the sample. Close the furnace, set the geometry gap, and equilibrate to temperature. Again, be sure to monitor the axial force and either initiate the test when the sample is fully relaxed or when reached a specific axial force. For best reproducibility, it is important to be consistent with the sample loading process. At this point, the programmed experiment can be initiated. In this TA Tech Tip, we've demonstrated how to use the melt kit to load polymer pellets on the Ares G2. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips. Thank you for your interest.